Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and probably my first unboxing in a long time, but we have a FabFitFun box. I got my first of two FabFitFun boxes. This should have my winter box in it, but I'm not 100% sure because I have yet to open it. We're opening it together right now. So what I should have in here is one full box and then also all of my add-ons. So I definitely see my box down here. I did get some other items, including a mystery bundle, but I don't think we're doing a mystery bundle battle because we did something different for the edit sale. It's not, at the time of me filming this, I have not filmed that yet, but <laughs> Catherine and I have a different competition we're doing for that box. And I think this one will be way too close to that box. So right now I'm gonna film my box and then in like five more minutes after I end that one, I'm gonna film the add-ons. And so maybe you'll see them back to back, like one day and then the next day when these videos are posted. It depends all on my editing. I have been really busy and I've been traveling. So some of my stuff is getting out later than normal. Okay, so I moved the big box out of the way. And one of the first things that I've noticed is they have this like gold looking paint for these snowflakes. I don't know if you'll see it on camera, but it's kind of like shimmery gold. So these are gonna be really cool to make gift tags out of and that's what I'm gonna do. And I will likely do a video about that. So all of my gift tags, I usually make out of something recycled. I don't like to buy new gift tags, whether it's like cutting up Christmas cards or other things, and then using the other side to write whatever I wanna write. So this box I think is gonna be perfect for that because my tree is gonna be white, black, and gold. So these gold snowflakes are perfect for that theme. Now let's open her. This one doesn't have too much tape, so you don't have to have too much EP with scissors anxiety. I'm only doing it for just a small second there and then open it up. I wonder if the inside is just as pretty. So the inside is just white snowflakes. As you can tell, I have not watched any other unboxings or I would already know that there was gonna be gold snowflakes and white snowflakes. I also don't know if we got what's in the box back. No, we didn't. They're still sending us the entire magazine. Oh, wait, wait, maybe, maybe. Nope, that's just what Kiki Palmer um, curated. <laughs> Trend report. Nope, nope, still nothing. Self-care routine, we do have the A plus there and the Luna sleeping oil there. Uh, so this is just some of the items. Why are they taking that away from us? I really like this section, holiday treats. This is spiked oat milk hot chocolate. I'm doing that. Oat milk is my current favorite milk. Nothing. I hate that, but I do have my phone and it does say scan your QR code and then whatever. So we're gonna scan this QR code. I hate that they're wasting paper to send me a QR code. They're not saving paper. They're not saving trees with this what's in the box. This entire page basically is just for one QR code. So these two pages could just have what's in my box. Okay, but this box is definitely probably one of my favorite FabFitFun boxes. Um, I did really love Marshmallow Unhide, like period. Love those blankets. So for me, just having that in the box already makes it like one of the top boxes because that's one of my, probably is my favorite item I've ever received from FabFitFun. So of course I got another one, but I got it in charcoal. So I own probably, I think, maybe like six cream ones and four silver ones, maybe more than that in silver because I have some that are not opened yet. And then in the last sale, the last add-on sale or the last edit sale, one of the sales, I got the cream one, but I got it like a larger size, the medium size, I think. So here's the gray color. I don't want to open it just yet, but I do have a gray cloud couch in my movie room. So I think gray on gray is actually gonna look really, really good. So this is just gonna be a little bit darker gray than that other gray, but 100% happy about this. It's a $65 retail value and it's 50 inches by 60 inches, which is how many inches I am tall. So for me, it happens to be a pretty perfect size because I can cover my whole self. Um, I think if you're a tall human, this is definitely like just a small little throw. But the main perk is how incredibly soft they are. Make sure you take care of them. It is 100% polyester, so you can machine wash it, but I recommend not drying it. At least I've had a better experience with some of mine, 
by hang drying them instead of putting them in the dryer. I honestly don't even know what section is which, like which one is section one, section two. But I also got the Sunday Riley A Plus and I think it's in that big box. So it was either in section one and I got it as an additional item or in section two and I got it as an additional item. But I think this is section two as well. It's short stories, the nesting bowls. Oh, they're so cute. They're like a geometric pattern. Look how like lovely they are wrapped as well. This would be a really good gift if you're trying to gift something from this box for the holidays. Um, it's just like the cutest. Now, if I can open it, there we go. All right, almost, almost, there we go. Okay, so you're gonna get three bowls and they're slightly different like pattern. I would say that's the right word. Yes, pattern. So this one has these little crisscrosses that make a bunch of little triangles all over it. And this is the smallest one, so it's 3.7 inch diameter and I think like 2.25, 2.25 high. And then this is the medium one. It's 4.25 by, I keep forgetting the height, 2.5, 2.5 high, 4.25 diameter, has these little lines across it, inside and outside. And then the last one for me is more like, I don't know if you would call this like African kind of print decor or you know what I mean when you see those bowls that are like more authentic like made in Africa kind of look to them. I feel like this one kind of has that. It's a little mixture of the other two, some dots, some triangles, and then also little slashy line circle type things. This one is three by five. So it's going to be three inches tall and then five inches in diameter, but they're nesting so and put them all in like that, easy to store, and they're black and white. The retail value for the balls was $39, by the way, and Short Stories is a FabFitFun in-house brand. That means that they created the brand, they create the items in it, they can get it usually made pretty cheaply because if you're the wholesaler, you're getting it direct from manufacturing instead of like a middleman or anything like getting it to you, right? So sometimes it's manufacturing, wholesaler, then you. Uh, as retailer, which I found fun as the retailer, but in this case, they're getting a little more direct. So they can, number one, make whatever retail value they want to put on the item. And number two, they are getting it probably less than some of the other items in their box. I'm not 100% sure on that because I don't know what kind of deals they make, but in theory, that's how it would work. And sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes those FabFitFun in-house brands have a retail value or a price tag on them that I just don't jive with. Like I just think they elevate it a little bit so that the total retail value of their box will be more. So in this case, $39, I definitely think those bowls are probably worth $39. You get three really nice bowls. They felt really well made. They all look really pretty. They're like thicker. So yeah, I think that in a store, I would maybe pay $39 for that. They're also packaged really well. So I'm very happy with that retail value. The next brand, by the way, is Mason Tops. It's like a Mason jar brand, but they also make other things with Mason jars. And in this case, it is a cocktail shaker kit, which I just thought was kind of interesting. Even if I didn't keep it to myself, um, it would make a really good gift. So I thought, sure, why not? Why not add this thing? So we have a little stir thing, you know, words, something like that. It has this fork-like side <laughs> and Scoopy spoon type like side thing. And then in between we have this spiral. I don't know if that helps with the stirring or whatever this thing is actually used for. I don't know, but perhaps it does. Then we have the actual shaker. So let me piece this apart. Here's the lid. Here's the like straining device. And then just like a standard mason jar, just a tall mason jar. And then you have this grippy part so that the jar doesn't fly out of your hand while you're shaking your drink. So I'm really excited for this. I've actually, I own an actual cocktail shaker that I don't think I've ever used. Not that I know of, but you know, maybe this being so cute is gonna get me to not be lazy and make an actual cocktail. Who knows, but time will tell. This is a $40 retail value. It's made of glass, silicone, plastic. It's BPA free plastic. And then the actual stirring thing that I still don't know the name of it. Does it have an actual name? If it does, please comment with the name of the stirring double-sided. Some bar, there's a bartender watching this right now. So please comment what that is called. I will love you forever. That item, the no name item that you guys are gonna help me name 
is actually you should also come up with a name for it if you don't know what the name is to confuse me even more and then i'll have to try to find the comment of what it actually is that is stainless steel we are so getting off topic right now let's rein it in anyways it's a 40 dollars retail value and that is made out of stainless steel the next section was kind of like the hair section all the briogeo stuff without the magazine this is really hard to try to put these in order but i think it was briogeo scalp revival charcoal and tea tree scalp treatment this does not have as good reviews as their exfoliating shampoo which is actually one of my favorite products in the history of hair products it's from briogeo scalp revival same thing charcoal and tea tree shampoo to me it smells like the little chocolate mints and it is amazing for your hair but this one's reviews were okay enough that i wanted to try it because i love the other one so much and i don't know if it's going to smell exactly the same because a lot of the reviews said it doesn't or it's not as strong oh still smells good though but i smell more of the tea tree in this than in the other one the other one kind of has a little bit more of a minty scent by the way you can see the charcoal color it is one ounce it is vegan cruelty free paraben free also they have a lot of great everything free let me check actually Sulfate-free, gluten-free, paraben-free, vegan, and cruelty-free. So all the great things. And honestly, I feel like their website has even more than that. So, oh, they have it on the bottle too. No sulfates, no silicones, no parabens, no phthalates, no artificial dyes, and no DEA. Yes, so they say they are six free hair care. In case I didn't mention the retail value, it is a $32 retail value. That is a brand that's kind of pricey. Now we're moving on to section number five and I got something I typically don't, wouldn't go for, but I do like tea a lot, but I just don't know why I would put like a tea sampler in my box, but this one won me over because some of these sound really, really good. Like sweet cinnamon chai I've had before and is delicious, but they also have a vanilla spice chai in here and then turmeric ginger and ginger and turmeric are both really good for you. So this is called the recovery sampler and you get five of each. So I'm gonna get five of all of these for a total of 25. They're also shaped like cute little pyramids. I'm gonna open one just to show you. So I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna have one of these. So you see, it's kind of like a little uh, pyramid here. It's a triangle, but 3D. So all these little points pointing at you. Super cute, I don't know. For some reason, I just think when tea bags look like that, they're a little nicer prettier or whatever anyways the retail value is $25 so you are paying a dollar well you're not paying that but <laughs> the retail value is a dollar per tea bag for these but I will say this is the only one I've tried I don't know why this is the one that I opened of all the ones I could have I just grabbed one but this is the only one I've tried before and I love chai tea it's really good with some oat milk oh perfect and this is just one of the better chai teas that i've had this is all packaged and made in india so that's kind of cool because they say like it's packaged at the source and it is organic everything in here is organic and then also says here non-gmo project verified so we are down to the last section when you do section six you can either do three items and then have the same that we used to have for our fat fit fun boxes which was a total of eight or you could do one item that is a little bit more expensive, a higher retail value, but you only get one item, so your total box now has six items instead of eight. In this box, my first box, I decided to choose one item, and I'm sure if you watched my spoilers video, you might know what that item is because I did kind of talk them up a lot. It's actually a throwback, so I got this item last time too, but they are my favorite brushes. It's Billion Dollar Brows. It is their Pro Brush Essentials set, so you get plenty of brushes in here. You have this beautiful foundation brush here. You have this probably contour brush. What do you call it? Yep, a contour brush. This brush I do take with me a lot everywhere. You have an eyeshadow brush right here. This is gonna be a powder brush, like really fluffy. Show the fluff. These feel so soft. If you love the feeling of really soft brushes, apparently charcoal does that for you. And then a this called, they call a highlighter brush. I wouldn't use it for that. Um, that's not what the type of brush I use for highlighter, but you could, you definitely could. And then last we have an eyebrow brush. This is probably, I don't even know if I used it last time either because I, I like the eyebrow brush to also have a spoolie on the other side. So I don't remember if I used this, but you could also use it for a liquid eyeliner or a gel eyeliner if you use those like gel pots. But these are definitely some of my favorite brushes. They are infused with both bamboo and charcoal. Uh, that does give them an antimicrobial effect. 
you still need to wash them. Like brushes need to be washed either way, but maybe last a little bit longer in between washes. I don't know. It is still nice to have that effect. I think the main thing about them that I love is that they are just so soft. They feel so soft that they make blending like so easy. If you have these or if you got them last time, comment down below. Do you not love them? Aren't they the best? So that's it. And what we have left are some stickers and then, you know, just fab bit fun trying to get in our pockets in other ways or these brands paying fab bit fun to get in our pockets in other ways. So that is what we have. That is my winter box. Everybody always wonders what I customize when I customize my box. Now I did get, like I said, an additional item. So there's six items here, but I do have seven, but I had to pay $15 more for the other item. And that is the Sunday Riley A plus serum. So this item is at an additional cost to my box. Did I say how much the billion dollar brushes were? They were really pricey actually. I think 60 something dollars, $62. Yeah, that's kind of a lot. Uh, Sunday Riley is also pretty expensive. This is an $85 product. So it is really in its super nice packaging. This is definitely, probably, no, definitely. Yeah, let's say definitely. Definitely my favorite retinol I've ever used. So as a total of 6.5% retinoid blend, I believe it was 5% is a retinol ester blend, which is their own proprietary retinol ester blend. Then about 1% is liposomal encapsulated retinol. That's gonna help the retinol kind of like more slow release, I would say, or um, not give you as much irritation from using retinol because retinol is not very sensitive skin friendly and you need to slowly introduce it as well. And then it has like 0.5% of green blue algae, which is the natural retinol that you're getting. Another thing that it says it has, it says that it has rare, rare white Hawaiian honey, but it also says that it's vegan. So I'm wondering how is that honey made? Because I have always read that honey is made from bees. So I have to do a little bit more research on that. I didn't remember reading about that before, but it says Hawaiian white honey on here. But then in the FabFitFun list, it says it's vegan. So I'm not sure if Sunday Riley says it's vegan, but definitely FabFitFun is listing it as vegan. And I don't feel like anything with honey would be vegan. Unless somebody knows what this white honey is, if it's made from a plant or something, but they just call it honey. I need to know. Also has encapsulated CoQ10, and that is going to be another anti-aging ingredient. So retinol is really good for anti-aging. It's also really good for acne. It's good for texture if you have any like textured skin, whether that's from acne or just like having textured skin. It's really good at like giving you more of a smooth appearance. I really like it. There is some controversial research on retinol. I still continue to use it because I just really like the way it makes my skin look, but Everybody go do your own research on that and see if it, it is an ingredient for you. You also have to be careful not to mix it with some other ingredients. So I think some people steer clear of it for that reason. So that's it. That's my entire box and bonus item that I spent $15 for. I think total, I don't remember exactly, but I think I wrote down that it was 261 or $262, something like that. Don't quote me. And then in addition, I got that $85. So I didn't count that in my total, but it was 260 something for $49.99 and that's a great deal. It's a great price. If you are interested in the FabFitFun box, they come out quarterly. I should have probably said this at the beginning of the video, but I will put my link down below and you'll get $10 off of your first box with them. That's it. Thank you guys so much for unboxing with me, especially we haven't unboxed in such a long time. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.